keeping things steady, vault style. I'm Scott White and Kivowitz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and me are thinking about. In this video, we are talking about the Steadicam Vault. This is a device that can hold your iPhone or your Android phone steady. It's lightweight and tiny. And remember, I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible, so if you like this video, please click that subscribe button below. So I just got this in the mail. This is the Steadicam Vault. It's made by Tiffin. Tiffin is the company behind Steadicam. Steadicam is a company that's been around for a very long time under the Tiffin name and basically they make all of the harnesses and, and steady systems that is used for by production companies for major movies, films, and, and whatnot. And they are, make a lot of consumer products under the Steadicam line. And this is one of the new ones. This was uh, a Kickstarter project that was successful and they came out with this product. And it actually holds an iPhone, an Android, uh, a variety of phones, and it also holds a GoPro, which is nice, which you can see right there in the bottom. So we are going to open this up and see what's inside. Now it's worth noting this video is not sponsored by Steadicam in any way, shape, or form, or even Tiffin for that matter. Heck, I don't even use Tiffin filters. So we got a manual. We have a little soft pouch. Batteries. Now it looks like these are triple uh, C, I think is the name of the batteries. A crank, that's for the uh, GoPro mounting. Battery holder, which is nice because it means you could get an additional one slip it in, slip it out, put in new batteries, and you're good. Here's the actual Steadicam Volt. Actually looks like a DJI Mavic all folded up. USB cable, it does interact with an app, which is good. Mount for the GoPro, and the counterweight. Now what is supposed to be really cool, no, just an empty shell in here. What's supposed to be really cool about the Steadicam is that you're supposed to be able to use it whether the batteries are working or if the batteries die. It'll obviously work a lot better with the batteries on and fully functional, but because of the counterweight, you're supposed to still get some fairly steady motion even with the batteries dead. And what else is supposed to happen with this is you're supposed to be, have a very natural feel. You twist your wrist to turn the, the device instead of something like the DJI Osmo Mobile where you have to actually use a little dial to actually turn it this is more natural, you just sort of go like this. That's one of the beauties of the Steadicam, it's very natural overall. So let's figure out how to open this up. There's some tape here, and I'm not quite sure where this stuff is. I should probably read the manual. All right, well oh, that is very, very loose when it's just like that. Time to read the manual. Okay, so as it turns out, this charger, which I thought would be like a slip-in as well because of how like bare and bones it looks, it's kind of just the shell of a charger. It's just a charger. I thought it was gonna slip in to the battery compartment, but it doesn't. So, odd design, but that's okay. So here we go, so I'm gonna put these batteries in. And I did start going through the manual, but as it turns out, you can't calibrate this until you have batteries in it. So, the interesting thing is, they want you to calibrate it with the batteries in, even when it's off. All right, so now, to do that, um, we are going to put in the phone. So now the phone is in. And it's in there really good, it's not going anywhere. Perfect. And then we're gonna dial the weight down. So there's a dial over here for the weight. And it says to put it to one. Now it's to one. Check the top balance. Hold the stabilizer.
Okay, so here is the steady cam. Uh, I'm just holding the steady cam as is and I'm walking backwards right now. And you can see it's actually kind of going left and right on me. And that is perfectly normal with the steady cam. Apparently it's supposed to use two hands, not just one hand. One hand is to hold it and one hand is to sort of like, uh, you know, sort of direct where the camera should go. And actually you can, if you're turning, you can use just one hand and just sort of use, wow, that's, that's crazy. But anyway, so I wanted to show you what it's like aimed at me. So if I was to start vlogging with my phone this way, I could, and just use a steady cam instead of a tripod. And really, it should be pretty steady with just this. And right now, I'm just recording this using the um, built-in video camera app on the iPhone. And uh, I could also switch it to Filmic Pro and use the digital stabilizer on there. Or I could use uh, another one like Muse Match or something like that that I've played with. It has really good digital stabilizer. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna flip this around and try to do some panning and see how smooth it really is when I'm walking around not aimed at myself. So here it is recorded with Filmic Pro. Now this has, um, now I'm using the Steadicam and the digital stabilizer in Filmic Pro. And uh, that should be pretty sturdy. I mean, walking around here with just a phone and this little Steadicam device, that should be pretty sturdy. Um, yeah, and again, the only thing I gotta figure out is the twisting, because it really is getting annoying. So I will say that beside from the twisting that it does automatically, which maybe there's a way to slow that down, I'm not sure, but aside from the twisting, it is pretty darn steady. You know, it, I mean, yeah, the twisting's getting old because it's now not aimed at me anymore. <laughs> so that part I gotta figure out how to stop that, but hopefully there's a way to do that. But otherwise, it's pretty damn sturdy, really. I mean, it's really, it's very smooth. I can go up and down like this. It's pretty smooth, all things considered. 